Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Untold Tales of Spider-Man issue number 8. Now let's get on with the review. Now the story starts off how that in the newspaper it turns out the big man was actually Fedic Foswell and that the enforcers are still at large and it has the artist's rendition which looks pretty great in a way. At the same time he makes it to where to where um, Harry Osborne meets his father and says, Harry, how many times have I told you not to interrupt me when I'm working? I'm a busy man. So he tells him to leave and all that. So he goes into a secret component where he starts his work and remembers how he took over Strom's um, part of his company ended up getting beaten up from the explosion at the same time time making a clean getaway when Spider-Man was battling Scorcher and at the same time looking at all the files of villains who had come and goes. So meanwhile our police support that Norman Osborn's managed to find is that Spider-Man is battling the enforcers. So at the same time Spider-Man is taking down Fancy Dan, Montana and Ox but he manages to take two of them down but has to go through Ox. And suddenly you've got the headsman, where Spider-Man says, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Uh-oh. So, headman, headsman proves dangerously, and Spider-Man tries to take him down, but this causes half of Spider-Man's costume to be cut off, so he has to leave quickly, making him think that Spider-Man's deserted them. Meanwhile, outside the shopping mall, Liz and Harry are talking about his father, and says that he wants to help him and all that. So, of course, Pete ends up getting knocked out by a fire hydrant and drop some of the film. Where Sally, Avil, Jason and Flash see it, but Spider-Man gets it back in time. At the same time, Betty is on her leave of absence where this new worker sh shows up to take her place. But she, she has it with Jameson. So Jameson shows up and gives... And he gives Jameson the film, so Spider-Man leaves to get some work done. At the same time, Harry's left upstairs saying, It's not fair. Dad's locked himself in his lab again, and he won't even talk to me. But at the same time, the enforcers show up, where, where Harry has to make it a clean break, and sends out a signal f flare, and Spider-Man sees it, and takes on the enforcers. At the same time... In time, Spider-Man is battling the enforcers. Well, Harry tries to get his—I mean, Harry tries to get his dad to come in. This is—he's about to take on the headsman. Spider-Man is more than knowing this time, and takes on the power pack, which is shorted out, and he leaves. So, in the end, Spider-Man takes down the enforcers. Where Harry tries to knock on the door. But Norman Osborn has a better idea for a new costume, seeing that he won't need the Scorcher and also won't need Headsman for his new abilities. So he decides to create himself a costume based on his fears as a child, which is the Green Goblin Mask. And in the end, has Harry says, why won't you let me in? So that's the story. What do I think? The story is pretty good. Because it shows how desperate Norman Osborn does to use criminal means to hire villains to take on Spider-Man. So he's going to do the job himself. I give this story a good thumbs up. It's still told well, still done perfectly. So this is my review. So Comic Reviewer here, signing out.